All right, guys, Tim Halston with Drag Boss Garage. So, yeah, I got this new camera, the DXC TOZ for DBG. It's a 180 degree bore scope. <laughs> These guys sent it to me. They wanted me to test it out. I have this old Menards that I've had for quite a few years that it's, it's runs on batteries. This thing's rechargeable. Video, camera, and the best thing, it's 1080, which blows me away. The picture is great. So let me take a little video of this and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, guys, well, there it is. This is number one on the 354 Cleveland. Makes 615 horse at eight grand. You've seen it run. I'll put a little picture of it here or video before or after this. But there's a great view of the cylinder. Look at that. Now there's a little bit of oil there, which I'm not really concerned about. It's got gas ported rings. The thing really hasn't been beat on much. Some dyno pulls, that's about it. I don't even know how many. But look at that. That is a beautiful picture of the piston, the Cleveland piston. You can even pull back a little bit. There you go. That's even better. The cylinder walls look pretty darn good. I don't see any issues with that. Let's move in a little. Now, one thing that uh, the problem with the Cleveland is right there, that little area, that's where the intake valve relief is. And you can see where it's real close. The ring land, you know, is right underneath that. And there's a gas port. So it's kind of concerning sometimes when you're doing stroker pistons. But I've had good luck with 408 cubic inches. People don't really like it, but one of my Cougars been going since, what, 2013? So I'll keep going. That's 12 years going on 13. So there's a cool little picture. You can see the quench there. You can see where it's probably getting close to the head. Let's take a look at it and see what we see up top with that 180 degree articulating. There it is. Look at that. You can see the head gasket right there. That's a spark plug. Nice. Spark plug hole there. You can see the valve that looks like the intake valve. There's the exhaust valve that looks like it's open. Yep. Look at that. There's, they're close there. You can almost see the margin of that valve if I was better at driving this thing. And then you can see the head gasket there. Now, one of the things I'm trying to show you is like on the Cleveland, they have the cylinders notched. And I'll see if I can get it. There you go, man. Let's see. Right there. Right there. The, the cylinder bores are actually notched to help prevent shrouding of that intake valve because it's so close to the bore wall. I think big Chevys have an issue with that. I've seen that in other posts and stuff. So that gives you a kind of a good view of that area, how close it is. And that's what you want to kind of make sure you got cleaned up to prevent intake valve shrouding. It makes a huge difference in flow. But that's why it has it because the valves are so big in that bore. Remember, this is a four inch bore from the factory. I mean, you can go all the way around that thing. So I wanted you guys to see this, kind of get an idea. And it's a matter of learning how to drive this thing. And you can, you can probably get right in there and see that valve margin once you get good at driving this thing. So there it is. I'm gonna go back down, we flip the dial, we're right back down to the cylinders. Pull back, give you a view, and you can rotate it. That's it. So that's what it looks like inside the 354 cleaner. It looks pretty clean. Stay tuned. You never know what you're going to see, Drag Boss Garage.